Today's video was an experience I will never forget and I am so glad that I got it documented on camera. But just before we get into the video, I've got a bone to pick with you. You see this graph? It tells me that 77% of people watching my videos aren't subscribed, which means you're probably not subscribed. So if you wouldn't mind, please go down and hit that subscribe button so you can see my lovely face in your subscription feed every single week. Uh, thank you and enjoy the video. That was stupid. Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very exciting but very much last minute running video. Today is Thursday the 18th of April and this weekend is the London Marathon. Now sadly I'm not running it but I have been invited down to London this evening thanks to Pro Direct Sport for Track Mafia's final running session before the big day this weekend. Now truthfully I don't actually know what to expect all I know is I need to be in Paddington for about half six this evening and there's going to be a running track session, Pro Direct Sport are going to be there with a handful of shoes for us to try and it should just be a pretty cool evening. So I'm obviously going to take you along with me but sadly I do need to get ready because my train leaves in two hours time and I still haven't actually packed so I'm going to get ready and I'll catch you on the train. Finally off the train and I've arrived at Paddington Recreational Ground which is just behind me. Um, yeah luckily there was no delays on the train because that would not have been a great start to this trip. But yeah here 15 minutes early so I'm going to give it five minutes and then go say hi to everybody and we'll get this show underway. I'm going to switch to the GoPro for probably the remainder of the video until I'm back home um, just because it's easier to carry and not got to worry about holding a massive camera in the middle of London. But yeah it should be good and we'll go see what this evening is all about. Let's go! This is Dan from the future giving you a quick overview of the Track Mafia workout you're about to watch. It's a very simple session which started with a one mile warm up into four 400 meter repeats, two 800 meter repeats, and then it was topped off with a one mile cool down. Enjoy. <laughs> Loving yourself, <laughs> loving the body that got you there, and being strong in your mind. Your mind will get you through anything, especially a marathon, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
Ugh. What a day. It is currently, ah, oh, it's currently half past 11 in the evening. I was gonna give you a full rundown of what happened this evening. However, right now, I need sleep. So rather than doing the debrief now, I'll do it in the morning, when I've got a little bit more energy. This video will continue in the morning. I am so jealous of people who have running clubs right on their doorstep because yesterday was so motivating just being surrounded by like a hundred other people all doing the exact same workout for the exact same goal yeah, it was just so motivating. So it's safe to say that there was a lot going on yesterday at Paddington Running Track. Now, Track Mafia quite literally had the entire running track to themselves. And the first notable point that you might have mentioned was the Nike truck that was literally dishing out pairs of Alpha Flies and Vapor Flies for everyone at the running track session to try on and use just to see if they liked them. Now I'm quite fortunate that I already own a pair of Alpha Flies and Vapor Flies and I've had the pleasure of wearing them for multiple races and throughout my training for the marathon. So the last thing I wanted to do was take that opportunity away from someone else who might not have got to wear them before. Even though Pro Direct really wanted me to wear them and I now realise it's because the photographers were snapping away at basically anyone wearing a bright yellow pair of shoes. Other than when I've been running in races, I have never been surrounded by that many people all doing the exact same running session at the exact same time in my entire life. There was a guy called Mo, who some of you might know from the running channel, who helped lead the entire session and he brought like this 90s style megaphone to the track, which just made the entire environment and the entire night so much more lively to have someone yelling down a megaphone at you whilst you're running around a track with a hundred other people. Now the actual track session wasn't that hard and the reason for that is most of the people who were there are running the London Marathon this Sunday. And in all fairness, I'm only four days post marathon so I was not complaining about having a light session as my first run back since running a marathon. And then post run there was some amazing Caribbean food that had been cooked by one of the members mums and I did have to eat mine whilst I was walking to the tube station and it may have caused me to miss my first train by about five minutes. All I'm saying is I have no regrets from last night. The food was incredible. And that brings us to today where I'm still absolutely shattered but I'm also filled with motivation to keep this momentum going post marathon and just keep pushing myself to try new things that take me outside of my comfort zone. And with all that being said, if you've enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like as it genuinely means so much more to me than you might initially think. I think I might have said this at the start of the video, but something like 70% of you aren't subscribed. So if you could, please go down and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and it means you can see my face on your subscription feed every single Saturday at 6 p.m. And as always, I hope you all have an absolutely smashing day. And like I just said, I will see you all next Saturday at 6 p.m. No bad days. <laughs> and I won't look back, yeah. I don't care about the bad shit.